In the twilight of a cold winter evening in March 1922, a remote farmstead nestled in the woods of Bavaria, Germany, stood eerily silent. This farmstead, known as Hinterkaifig, was home to the Gruber family. Andreas Gruber, the patriarch, was a stern and unyielding man, ruling over the land and his household with an iron fist. His wife, Kazilia, was a woman of few words, her life etched with the harshness of rural living. Their daughter, Victoria Gabriel, a widow, lived with them, along with her two children, little Kazilia and baby Joseph. The farmhouse was old and creaky, its timbered frame holding within its secrets and shadows. It was a place where time seemed to have stopped, where the whispers of the past lingered in every corner. The family lived a life of hard work and isolation, their nearest neighbors miles away. In the days leading up to the fateful night, strange things began to happen. Andreas discovered footprints in the snow leading from the woods to the house, but none leading away. At first, he dismissed them as a figment of his imagination, or perhaps the tracks of a wandering animal. But then keys went missing, and the sounds of footsteps echoed through the halls in the dead of night. The family was unnerved but tried to continue with their daily routines. One night, as the wind howled outside and the farmhouse stood as a solitary sentinel against the darkness, the Gruber family was brutally murdered. The killer or killers used a mattock, a tool from the farm itself, to bludgeon them to death. Their bodies were found days later by concerned neighbors who had come to check on the family after not seeing them for a while. The gruesome scene that greeted the neighbors was one of horror and mystery. The bodies of Andreas, his wife Kazilia, Victoria, and little Kazilia were found in the barn, stacked on top of each other. Baby Joseph was found dead in his crib, and the maid Maria Baumgartner, who had only just started working at the farm, was found in her bed. The murders shocked the nation and led to one of the most baffling unsolved cases in German history. Despite extensive investigations, the murderer was never found, and the Hinterkaifeck murders remain a chilling mystery to this day. The Discovery On April 4, 1922, Lorenz Schlittenbauer, a neighbor, led a small search party to the Hinterkaifeck farm. After finding the house eerily quiet and the animals unfed, they stumbled upon the gruesome scene in the barn. The horror of the discovery spread quickly through the community, sending shockwaves through the rural landscape. The Footprints In the days preceding the murders, Andreas Gruber had discovered strange footprints in the snow. The tracks led from the forest to the farmhouse but did not lead away. This eerie detail added a chilling layer to the mystery, suggesting that someone had been watching the family for some time. The Missing Keys among the unsettling events before the murders, the family's house keys went missing. Despite a thorough search, they were never found. This loss made the family even more vulnerable and raised questions about how the murderer gained access to the house. The Noises The Gruber family heard strange noises in the attic at night. Andreas investigated but found nothing. The unexplained sounds, combined with the other bizarre occurrences, created an atmosphere of fear and unease within the household. The Maid's Premonition Maria Baumgartner, the maid, had only been at Hinterkaifeck for a few hours before she was killed. Strangely, she had confided in her sister that she felt uneasy about taking the job, mentioning the unsettling reputation of the farm. Her premonition added another layer of mystery to the case. The Murder Weapon The murder weapon, a mattock, was a common farming tool. It was found hidden in the attic, stained with blood. The choice of weapons suggested that the murderer was familiar with the farm and its tools, possibly even someone close to the family. The investigation. The police investigation was thorough but ultimately inconclusive. They interviewed numerous suspects, including neighbors and former lovers of Victoria. Despite their efforts, no definitive evidence pointed to the killer and the case grew cold. Theories and Suspects Over the years, various theories have emerged. Some believe it was a family member, driven by jealousy or rage. Others think it was a drifter or a former soldier suffering from post-war trauma. Each theory has its proponents, but none can be definitively proven. The Aftermath The murders left a lasting scar on the community. The farm was eventually demolished, and the land stood empty for years. 
The story of Hinterkaifeck became a chilling legend, a reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the most unexpected places. The Legacy The Hinterkaifeck murders remain one of the most infamous unsolved cases in German history. They have inspired books, documentaries, and endless speculation. Despite the passage of time, the mystery endures, a haunting reminder of the unknown horrors that can dwell in the shadows of our world. Conclusion The Hinterkaifeck murders stand as one of the most chilling and perplexing unsolved mysteries in history. Despite the passage of over a century, the case remains a haunting enigma, capturing the imagination of true crime enthusiasts and historians alike. The brutal slaying of the Gruber family, the eerie premonitions, the unexplained footprints, and the missing keys all contribute to a story that feels more like a macabre fairy tale than reality. As we delve into the details of this case, we are reminded of the darkness that can lurk in the most unexpected places, and the enduring quest for justice and answers. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the haunting mystery of the Hinterkaifeck murders. If you found this story intriguing, please subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into true crime mysteries. Don't forget to like this video, comment with your thoughts and theories, and share this story with others who might be captivated by this chilling tale. Your support helps us continue to bring you more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.